Welcome back to the Micro Learning Institute. In this short video, we're going to look at a past exam question in relation to IAS 40 investment property. This past exam question is from the ACCA F7 June 2013 paper, and the question is called Speculate. In this tutorial, we are only going to regard the issues around property A in this question, and the requirement is to prepare extracts from the profit and loss and other comprehensive income and the statement of financial position for speculate for the year ended the 31st of March 2013. We are told that property A is an admin building and it is used for admin purposes and it has a depreciated historic cost of $2 million and a remaining useful economic life of 20 years. We are also told that on the 1st of October 2012 Property A was reclassified as an investment property. Finally, we are told that Speculate's policy is to carry investment properties at fair value, and we're told that the fair value of this property A was 2.3 million on the 1st of October 2012 and 2.34 million at year end the 31st of March 2013. As the property was being used as an admin building on the 1st of April 2012, we classify it under IAS 16 at a depreciated historic cost of 2 million as told in the question. As the property was not reclassified to an investment property until the 1st of October 2012, we first need to charge depreciation on the IAS 16 property. This depreciation is calculated on the cost of the building, which was 2 million, over the 20 year useful economic life, of course for 6 months, giving us a charge of $50,000 to the P&L in relation to depreciation. Consequently, on the 1st of October 2012, the carrying amount of property A prior to reclassification was $1.95 million. This amount would have appeared on the Statement of Financial Position of Speculate. When transferring the property from IAS 16 Property Plant and Equipment to IAS 40 Investment Property at Fair Value, we must consider the fair value at the date of reclassification. This fair value at the date of reclassification was $2.3 million. Thus, under IAS 16, Prior to reclassification, we must recognise a revaluation gain of the balancing figure of $350,000. This gain is credited to other comprehensive income. We now transfer the property at its fair value of $2.3 million to an investment property classification at $2.3 million. The fair value of the investment property will be remeasured at year end, and at year end 30th of March 2013, we are told that the fair value has grown to $2.34 million. Thus, the investment property has experienced a fair value gain of $40,000. This $40,000 gain is credited to profit and loss. While the fair value of the investment property at $2.34 million appears on the statement of financial position at year end. Thank you for watching this short tutorial at the Microlearning Institute.